I've come from a education background, as in a system of teacher in secondary schools. Um, so that was a big focus for me being part of this, um, and a creative individual teaching art, etc. Um, I met Carly at an event that I was hosting, and she got in touch with me and sort of explained it all to me, and it sounded really, really interesting. Um, and again, sort of getting out of the house again. It's lovely that COVID sort of thing. So, you know, working as a team again, as a group again, being able to put your own sort of views, um, you know, into practice and, and basically see how um, the whole, you know, local energy market is sort of moving forward and, and radically changing, yeah. potentially. It seemed like an interesting opportunity to get involved, um, get involved in a wider discussion with a large group of people talking about the issues that are happening, talking about local energy markets, talking about energy use in general, talking about incidentally things like rising prices, the climate crisis. The opportunity to talk to that wider group of people, that really diverse selection of people on the panel, but also the expert witnesses being able to give us really good information about what's happening, greater context of what's happening, better terms of reference, explaining some specialist stuff going on and really giving us more information about what's happening. As a jury, we felt that this process has been very empowering, helping us feel heard and involved. At times, some jurors found the process challenging and overwhelming, but overall, we felt a positive sense that meaningful change is possible for the Greater Manchester community. Yes, and I'm really glad I took part in it because it was an excellent uh, few days. It was good to learn something new and it was good to meet people. I've learned a lot, not just from the witnesses and speakers and exercises, but from the other jury members, which I didn't expect to. Yes, and it would be good to see more of this kind of deliberation process in future.